Welcome back guys. So today we're gonna to be working on masking up this Tesla and trying out some of that product that I just showed you. And it's a blending foam. And uh, in my jams, I usually like to do the fold tape and I'll show you that. So we're gonna try it out on this job and see how it leaves an edge. Once we get this thing unmasked after it's painted, we'll go in and we'll check the jam line and make sure that it leaves a nice edge. Cause on this one here, we're gonna be shooting the rocker and that line will be all the way along inside the rocker and then come up in this quarter jam. So I'll show you how I usually do it with my fold tape. And then uh, we'll try out this one here and see how much of a nice edge it'll leave. That way we can see if this stuff is worth using. So let's go ahead and mask this one up. This is a pretty big job. And I've already masked up this right side of this vehicle because I don't have to get back in this side here. So this side's already masked up and ready for the bag on this side. But the other side, I had to open the doors to get in it because the headliner's loose in this one. So we definitely wanted to uh, get it in here before we mask up this side. So let's go ahead and mask it up. I'll show you how I do the uh, jams normally and then we'll try the foam out. All right, I always start from the back of the vehicle and work my way forward when I'm taping them up. That way when you close your doors, you don't interfere with the other panels that you're uh, masking up. So start in the back of the car, do your trunk jam, then do your rear jam, uh, door jam, and then move up to your front door. That way everything is kind of in sync when you go ahead and you mask it up. So we're gonna go ahead and back tape. This quarter here, I like to back tape my jams. That way nothing goes inside here and it keeps any dirt from blowing out of the jam because that tape is stuck nice and tight on this here so this is how i do my jams on the back tape side of it take your tape and run it in here and when you have bends cut your 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 tape a little short that way when you go to fold it over later it bends better especially on round areas like this now you can close this when you mask it You'll put your tape right to the edge of that. And then it seals this up nice and tight. That way no dirt comes out and you can put a little rip in it. That way this bends a little better, so. All right, so that's how it looks when it's all done. You'll have your tape there, you'll fold it back. And now this is sealed up nice and tight, but it also leaves a nice edge because that tape is round. So that's how I do all my stuff when I back tape it, so. All right, so the next product we'll try out is this uh, perforated lifting tape. And this is a lot like the other ones that they make out there. So I do like this one here because it's cut individually for you. Some of them you have to use scissors and blades, but this one here actually pulls off and has little pieces of it. That way you don't have to have a blade or a knife with you when you're using this. So we're gonna use this up here on the top of this glass pane. That way we pull that rubber back and we can get it nice around that corner there. So let's go ahead and do that. When I'm doing this, I usually don't go any bigger than a six inch span with the uh, lifting tape like this. To me, it works better when you do it in small sections and then you'll overlap it because when you go in there with a big long one, it seems to want to pull out of the top or the bottom when you're doing it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so this is how I normally would do my jam after I go ahead and do my uh, paper. I'll run my six inch I'll make sure I run my six inch nice and straight just in case this doesn't work perfectly. But this is what I usually do instead of that new foam that we're trying out here. So take your uh, tape and I'll put it on my knee. And this is the fold tape that a lot of guys have a machine for, but you just run it, fold it over with your finger and you can just run it nice and easy as long as you want it and make your fold tape. So that's how I do my fold tape normally for my jam. 
and that gives you a nice smooth edge when you're making your uh, jam line. So it folds over the one side and keeps this side sticky. And normally I would stick this in here like this and it would flutter nice and easy and to give it a decent jam line. So instead of using this today, we're gonna try out this, this one here that they're making here from Merca. And it's kind of almost like it because it has the sticky in the middle and both sides are the same as almost like this stuff here. So you'll put this inside this jam like this to basically do the same thing as the uh, fold tape that we're used to using. So let's go ahead and do that and try it out. All right, so the job is all baked and uh, you can see it's still got a beautiful shine with that uh, combination I got going on. So we're gonna unmask it and check where we tried out that foam and see how nice of an edge it'll leave compared to the uh, fold tape that I do. So I'm not sure how it's gonna be because you guys are uh, doing this for the first time with me here, trying it out, but you can see that it actually leaves a little bit of room in between the door and the foam. And that's what I like about it so far till we take it and see what it does here when we open it. Cause you guys know that the bigger foam usually wants to get stuck to things. And uh, to me, it doesn't work very good. So let me unbag this one and we'll check out this jam here. So you can see the fold tape did a good job and it held up and it's a good quality product and uh, did what it needed to here. So you guys can see it pulled that, that rubber back enough to paint this without having any problems. And you guys will see here how it works when you pull it out to any of you guys that are new in the, to the painting. It's got a little clear plastic that slides down and then it holds back the molding so that you can paint something with the glass still in it. All right, so the jam didn't come out too bad. And one little tip that I like to do, even when I do my fold tape, is take a little prep saw on the end of your uh, towel, once this is dry, and just wipe this with a little prep saw. And it'll take any glue and even if there's a little clear, it'll knock it down a little bit with that prep saw. So, so far so good with the foam. And uh, you guys can check out the prices on it. I'm not sure what it is, but they definitely said it's cheaper than the other stuff. So definitely not a bad product. You could also hit it with a little compound to knock down the edge and uh, polish it up if you have to. But this one came out pretty good. You guys can see 
It's got a sh nice shine to it along that lip and it held tight. So not bad. All right, so I hope uh, you guys got something out of this. The Merca stuff so far is standing up and it's a pretty good product. So for the fold tape and the uh, lift tape around the moldings, definitely a good product. So this one here I like again because it's thinner and it doesn't have that big round uh, spot that sticks to the door. And usually you'll leave a big hairy edge on here with the clear sticking to the panel. So. Hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.